Go to Surat Al Maida, chapter 5, 9091. Okay, all believers, intoxicants, gambling, idols, and drawing lots for decisions are all evil of Satan's handiwork. So, handiwork, before you move on, Satan created idolatry, games of chance, and intoxicants, right? His handiwork, his creation, right? Yeah, but it was abrogated. Yeah, forget that's this is the one that abrogated the other verses that came before it, according to your commentators. That's not my question. Re did, don't you guys have abrogation in the Bible? Yeah, well, I, I, you didn't even get to the point. Do you want to change the subject? We can't. your question. I'll, I'll get there. First, read who created intoxicants? Shaitan. So, why does Allah take Shaitan's? creation and make it one of your rewards in paradise that's my argument why are you going to have intoxicants in jannah in paradise no no no, no yes no. chapter 47 verse 15 of the quran that's the reward why is allah rewarding you with a creation of satan you're not getting my question pretend you understood if satan created intoxicants he created wine why is allah rewarding you with a creation of satan this is a weak argument for you okay then answer it I'll admit, I'll answer admit. it Previous to answer it. Have to look into answer it. Have to look into jihad. I'm gonna hang up on you if you don't answer it. Why is Allah giving you Satan's creation as a reward in Jannah? Well, I cannot answer that question, but what I can tell you is that in heaven everything goes. Even Satan's creation goes. So Allah's going to take Satan's creation and make it your reward in paradise. Oh, that yes. makes sense. Oh, beautiful. Then perfect sense. But let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. It's Satan's handiwork on earth. Because shaitan has power on earth. Can you show me where the Quran says on earth only? That intoxicants were only created by Satan on earth? And to use your logic, that means using your logic, even though intoxicants are the creation of Satan, you still can have it in paradise. That means you can also have idolatry in paradise, right? Because it says Satan created intoxicants, idolatry, and games of chance. So according to your logic, idolatry in Jannah would be okay as long as you don't do it on earth. Is that what you're saying? Idolatry, we will be with Allah. Okay, but is wait, wait, no. Follow your logic. You're saying intoxicants on earth is the creation of Satan, and it's evil on earth, but okay in paradise. That means if you're going to be consistent, idolatry should be okay in paradise as well. Well, in Christianity, the heaven has the same things. Can you show me in the Bible where it says wine is a creation of Satan? Show me that in the Bible. Drunkardness. Your, your religion says... That intoxicants, which includes khamar, wine, is created by Satan. Just like he created idolatry and games of chance. So why is Allah honoring Satan's creation and making it your reward in paradise? I'm going to make a note of it. But then it gets worse for you, friend. Because elsewhere it says that intoxicants is the creation of Allah. So is shaitan and Allah partners in creation? I'm going to talk to a friend of mine who has a lot of knowledge. But you didn't hear me. Here it says wine, khamar, which is part of intoxication, is the creation of shaitan. But elsewhere in chapter 16 of the Quran, it says that intoxicants which you make, which you make from the fruits of date palm and grapes, is one of the blessings of Allah. Can you go to Surah al nahl chapter 16 for me? 16, uh, what verse? Read 65, ayat 65 to 69. And Allah sends down rain from the sky, giving life to the earth after its death. And that's Truly. a blessing, right? These are the blessings of Allah, right? Huh? These are the blessings of Allah, correct? He blesses you by sending rain on a dead earth to make it alive, right? That's his blessing. Wait. And Allah sends down rain from the sky, giving life to the earth after its death. Hmm? Surely in this is a sign from those who listen. So that's one of the blessings of Allah. Now the other blessing of Allah. It doesn't say it's a blessing. So wait. So when Allah sends water to revive the earth, that's a curse. It's not a blessing. Yeah, you make sense. Yeah. So it's a curse from Allah. Well, it doesn't mean it's a curse either. The point of the ayah is to show you the goodness of Allah and how ungrateful you are. Your earth is dead, which means you can't survive because there's no food. So what does he do? He makes it alive by sending rain so that you can eat. But no, that doesn't mean it's a blessing. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Exactly. And I'll read the other verse to show these are the blessings of Allah. And there is certainly a lesson for you in cattle. We give you to drink of what is in their bellies in between their crap and their blood betwixt the refuse and blood pure From milk right digested food and blood pure milk pleasant to drink and that's not a blessing so allah gave you milk not to bless you but to poison you of course these are the blessings of allah keep reading From the fruits of palm trees and get in grapevines 
you derive intoxicants so, as well as hope. Okay, hold on, Jihad, before you finish. So let's understand logic of what you just read. Allah mentioned the intoxicants that you make from the fruits of grapes and date palms in the same context where Allah gives you milk from cows and Allah sends you rain on a dead land to make it alive with produce. And then read the next ayah, keep reading. Nourishment, intoxicants and nourishment. Right, low there is indeed a sign for people who have Lord inspired the bees make your homes in the mountains, keep the trees, and in what people construct. And these bees do what? And free from the flower of any fruit you please, and follow the ways of your Lord has made easy for you. From their bellies comes forth liquid of varying colors, in which there is healing for people. Truly, and this is a sign of those who reflect. Okay, now pay attention to what you just read. The bees give you this drink of diverse colors for healing, and the cows give you milk to drink, and Allah sends rain on the earth that's dead to make it alive so you can have all this produce to eat. And then you're saying the wine? That's part of the blessings. That's in that list. And Allah gave you date palms and grapes so that you can make intoxicants as well as other nourishments from it. So here... Intoxicants is one of the blessings of Allah, but in Surah Al-Maidah, it's a creation of shaitan to mislead you and deceive you from Allah. So which is it? And who gave it to us, Allah or Satan? Who gave it to you, Allah or Satan? So the it's, other one was what, 590? Yeah, 590, 91, it says that intoxicants are Satan's creation. But here it says intoxicants are some of the blessings from Allah. So did Allah take shaitan as his partner in creation to create something that is a blessing, but then you're told it's a curse and stay away from it. So which is it? Is it a blessing or a curse? I'm confused. Only Allah knows. All right. Allah Alam. Yeah. Okay. 